Hi, my name is Kevin Kawai with Celestron. Did you know that the finder scope is one of the most important components of your telescope setup? It will help you locate objects wherever you point your telescope. In this video, I am going to show you how to properly align your finder scope so that you'll be out observing in no time. Now there are two common types of finder scopes. The first is an optical finder scope, which is essentially a small, low-powered, wide-angle telescope with crosshairs that will help you center an object. Now for most optical finder scopes, the view will be inverted or upside down, but as long as the object is centered, it shouldn't really pose any problems. The second type of finder scope is a red dot finder scope, which is battery powered and projects a small red LED dot on the finder scope's glass window to help center an object. It has zero magnification. To align your optical or red dot finder scope with the main telescope, you're going to have to pick out a stationary target such as a road sign or the top of a telephone pole that's at least a quarter of a mile or further away, preferably during the day since objects will be easier to see. Use a low power eyepiece from your telescope package such as a 23mm eyepiece and place it into the star diagonal. While standing behind your telescope and using the line of sight method, Position the target object just on top of the telescope's front cell. Move your telescope until the target is centered in your eyepiece. If using the optical finder, notice there are two alignment screws and one spring-loaded pivot screw located on the finder bracket. This pivot screw puts constant pressure on the finder scope, so all you will need to do is to turn the two alignment screws until the object is centered in the crosshairs. Now check the telescope's eyepiece to make sure that the object is still centered. And now your finder scope should be aligned with your telescope. If using the red dot finder scope, turn on your star pointer until the red dot appears. Next, turn the altitude and azimuth control knobs so the red dot becomes centered on your targeted object that you're pointing at. Check the view in the telescope's eyepiece to make sure that the object remains centered. Your finder scope should now be aligned with your telescope, so you're now ready to begin your observing session. Always make sure that your finder scope is aligned each time you observe. I'm Kevin Kawai with Celestron, and I wish you clear skies and happy observing.